Hi, my name is Presley Carter and I'm a Drew Central High School Earth and Space Science teacher as well as a biology teacher. My placement this summer was at the Drew County Landfield. Now, you might be thinking, oh, this is a landfill. It stinks. It has all this trash. It is not a household trash landfill. You should not see diapers. You should not see canned foods. You should not see clothing, things of that nature. This landfill is strictly for waste that may degrade or may not degrade at all. Um, over the summer, I ran into a lot of roofers that were dropping off shingles. Shingles are something that you can put into the hole. If you look over here, you can see the trash. They smush it very tightly so we can pack as much into the cell, which is the hole in the ground, as possible. If you look way far back in the cell, it's a 40 by 40. There's standing water. That's some of the water that we actually tested. This is just pictures from this summer. I was able to drive the excavator. I was also able to drive a bulldozer. I'm very thankful for the people at the landfill because they really helped me figure my way here. I've never driven something like this before, so that was a great experience. Um, we also tested water while I was there. I did not get pictures of that, but we used several different methods to test water with an engineer. Um, my main focus here was that students needed to be able to present and show me a solution to their own footprint in this world. The interconnectedness of our systems was something that they definitely needed to understand. And to get to that point, they had to know what happens when this water leaves the landfill, where is it going, and what is it impacting now? So the process, students started with the pretest. The pretest was obviously stuff they may or may have not been exposed to. It covered landfill questions. It also covered all of the cycles, the carbon, water, rock, all of those were covered. Um, it was very straightforward questions, but it was enough to let me know where they have gaps in their learning and what we need to cover more. After the pretest, students were exposed to all of the lab materials and lab procedures, and then we toured the landfill where we tested various water samples and runoff water that was tested from the entrance. So after we came back from the landfill and we started testing this water, they were also shocked to find out that they were fixing to use a microscope to set their own slides with this water that they took. They were able to see microorganisms under the microscope. After all this was said and done, students then summarized their results, their prior knowledge, and future hopes to show what they have learned and how they can personally minimize their impact on the natural cycles of Earth. Some materials used throughout the lab include the pH and turbidity meter, also tested for temperature. The coliform bacteria test disgusted a lot of students, but it was a necessary thing that they test for. They needed to understand what is actually in our water. Um, our 16-in-1 water testing kit, I had students go through and look at various things that they might not have known. What's in water? They were like, lead in water? I was like, yes, lead in water. So they had to research if there's too much lead in water, what happens? If there's not enough lead in water, what happens? How much carbonate do we need? What's the alkalinity like, etc. All of these things were tested. I thought the strips were amazing because of the colors and I think it really helped them see a visual of what's in the water. Um, on top of that, everywhere, that was tested at the landfill, tested differently. So although they had similar results, if you tested the runoff water, your runoff water was extremely different from the actual water that came out of the cell where the trash was sitting. These are my grades. So the first set of grades are obviously a little disappointing. I did have four Fs on the pretest, but the post-test, it turned out great. So the pretest had a lot of questions that got turned into, this is what needs to be put onto your PowerPoint. This is what needs to be presented to me. At the end of this all, students were able to present solutions to how we can minimize our pollution on a small scale, how we can make it manifest into a bigger solution. What can we do different personally in our small sector of Arkansas to make sure that this does not manifest into a huge issue? How do we do that? Um, I just want to say thank you to Strive again for this opportunity. Bringing small skills into my classroom was extremely effective. Getting students out of the room was extremely effective. They were very appreciative for everything that y'all gave me and that trickled down to them. So thank you again.